Okay, we got the Detroit Pistons on the road taking on the defending world champion Los Angeles Lakers on February 6, 2021. This is the last game on the slate tonight, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Guys, this is Sports Gambling Daily. I'm the coach, and what I try to do here is post videos every single day where I can find edges and angles that we can exploit to cash in on that maximum profitability. If that sounds like something you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button and also check out the private group. It's free to join and the link is in the description. Okay, let's get into this thing. Detroit versus Los Angeles. Now, believe it or not, Detroit beat the Lakers last time they played. The, that game was at home in Detroit. Now this game is in Los Angeles. I would like to think that the Lakers are looking for a bit of revenge here. Now They might not even care because they know that they're better than Detroit. But technically it would be a revenge game in this situation. Uh, look, the, the injury report is the same uh, for the Lakers. It looks like uh, you got LeBron James and Anthony Davis questionable to play. It wouldn't matter if they played or not. They would still win, in my opinion, the, uh, the Lakers. And you got Detroit Pistons. Well, it looks like... Uh, Derek Rose is questionable for this matchup. Uh, you have the Detroit Pistons minus thir- I'm sorry, plus thirteen, plus thirteen to the Detroit Pistons uh, over under set at two thirteen. That's a pretty low total as well. I was definitely leaning under. It opened up at plus or opened up at two seventeen and has been bet down five points. If you look at some interesting trends here, the Pistons are four and zero in their last four games. Versus a team with a winning percentage above 600, that tells me that the bookmakers are not giving the the road team or the Pistons enough credit here. They're giving them too many points. And also, the Pistons are seven and one against the spread in their last eight games following an against the spread loss. If you look at the Lakers side of things, the Lakers are one and five against the spread in their last six games versus a team with a winning percentage below 400. And all in all, uh, Pistons are four and one against the spread in their last five meetings. I was a little surprised about all that because I was like, well, you know, Detroit Pistons suck. Los Angeles Lakers are great. But this might be a situation where we might get a backdoor cover. 13, 13 and a half points is a lot of points in the NBA, especially down the stretch where Lakers might take their foot off the gas and Detroit gets in there right at 13, right at 12. I'm going to lean the Detroit Pistons. It's a lean at best. Uh, it's hard for me to put any kind of good money on a team that plays so poorly. But this is a big spread here. And Lakers have shown they don't play as well at home as they do at, on the road. So give me the Detroit Pistons as the lean for the plus 13, plus 13 and a half. And that's where I'm at, guys. Thank you for watching. I got a playlist here. I got a strategy for profit right here. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Peace.